Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack, 33, and welcome to another day of Odin's Collection. Today's game is on the Nintendo GameCube, sort of, it's actually on the Game Boy Player. <laughs> so it's a Game Boy Advance game. It's made by Nintendo and Capcom. Hey, this sounds like a familiar mix-up. Yeah, it's Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Uh, Capcom is the guys that did the Oracle games, and maybe Link's Awakening, I'm not sure. But I got a good, uh... A good collection here for you today. I got a nice dungeon. This is the Temple of Droplets. So let's brace ourselves. <laughs> That's Ezlo. Ezlo's a funny guy. Uh, I hate ice dungeons. Uh, they suck. <laughs> uh, the weird thing about this dungeon. Okay, I just got used to controls on the GameCube here. The weird thing about the ice dungeon is that they give you the key right away like this is what we're looking for that element there but we can't get it yet so I'm guessing there's gonna be some sort of item we need to get it and I've played a little bit of the dungeon ahead actually one thing I should have done is I should have set the uh, L and R buttons oh well I should set the L and R buttons to X and Y so you wouldn't hear me pressing the R button so much so I'll try not to press it so much. <laughs> uh, I would feel like a jerk if I didn't mention uh, one Let's Play of this game. Uh, his first ever Let's Play he ever did, and that's Jeff Lars. He did an amazing Let's Play of Minish Cap. I had, that was pretty much the first time I'd ever really seen Minish Cap. I, I really knew nothing about it at all. Uh, and it actually encouraged me to get this game. Like, this is... like. I legit own this now. <laughs> I can't remember if there's anything down here. Oh, we already went down there. Sorry. Like I said, I, I haven't played this in a little bit. Get my face. I haven't played this in a little bit because I wanted to save this dungeon uh, for Owen's collection. I wanted to start from the beginning, actually. But uh, that never happened because I accidentally forgot because I was having too much fun playing this game. <laughs> but, so I've kind of done a little bit of this dungeon. And I don't remember this one at all, to be honest, from Jeff's Let's Play. So. This is essentially blind for me. I don't, I don't know why that's become like such a term in, in Let's Play, is blind. <laughs> it could just be you've never played it before. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, I think, yeah. Oh, come on. Go back. Go back. I can't remember why we want to go down here with this, but I'm positive we do. So I'm sure I'll find out why I wanted to do that. Hopefully I can get back on there. Okay, good. What's this thing say? The way forward is hidden in the bottom. Oh, okay, I already did this. That's what got me the key. I remember what I'm doing now. <laughs> uh, the thing I like about this dungeon is it's a Minish dungeon, meaning Link is already small right now, even though you can't tell, obviously, because he's in the dungeon. But that means there's no like shrinking and growing mechanics, uh, which just makes this like a straight-up old-school uh, Zelda dungeon. I figured I'd put this little border I got going right now. kind of fits the theme a little bit. Uh... No, I didn't want to go that way, actually. Game. Thanks for assuming I did. I actually want to go up. Actually, I have no idea where I want to go. Let's check out uh, the map here. Uh, This place is gigantic. I have no idea where I'm going whatsoever. Uh, let's hit this. Let's hit this. There we go. <laughs> this is a maze of a dungeon. Oh man. Okay, we want to fight that guy because there's a treasure chest there. Maybe, maybe an item we want. I'm gonna guess it's just the compass, to be honest. But I'll take it for what it's worth. At least the compass in this game actually tells you stuff. Tells you where treasure chests are, which is nice. And and Link to the Past tells you like nothing. Oh yeah, I got a ton of damage in right there. Yeah, 
you gotta hit him in the face. And you gotta hit him in the tail. Done. I don't know if there's anything in those cobwebs. Doesn't look like there is. This just has a similar look to the first dungeon. Yeah, Minish Cap would be a fun game to let's play, I think. I'd have to beat it though, I've never beaten this before, this is my first playthrough through it. So I'd have to do that first before I even thought about doing a let's play of it. But then again, you know, I can't just play every Zelda game. <laughs> I like the 2D Zeldas though, they're my favorite. I'm betting this is the compass. Yeah. So that's completely optional f to fight that guy. Yeah, there's the boss down there. I kind of knew where the boss was already, to be honest. Like I said, I already have the big key. And that's like, basically you need that to actually get into, like, the main part of the dungeon. Like, like I said, this place is gigantic by the looks of it. In theory, it's actually not big at all because we're actually small right now. But, uh, <laughs> that doesn't apply when we're of equal size. Okay, there was nothing that way. That was a dead end. We got guys there. Let's take this thing as far as we can go. Why not? Man, this place is like ominous. Okay. And something's telling me I probably can't just stand on this, right? No. We gotta do block puzzle. And when you push these blocks, because I've already done a block puzzle in here. They slide all the way until they hit something, and if they don't hit anything, they're going in the pit. Oh, there's a treasure chest I can't get, because I can't melt ice. Ah, fudge. Which is obvious what the uh, dungeon item is going to be in here. What's that? Oh, money. Oh, that's another thing I love about this game. There are so many miscellaneous treasure chests, and I like that sort of thing. I don't know why. Okay, so we can't just push that down, because that will slide off. I see what I have to do. It's actually pretty simple. Push that there. Come on. Push that there. No, nope. come on, Link. <laughs> there. There. And. There. That wasn't so tough. I'm glad. <laughs> Oh, there's no. Is there anything else down there? No. Just another frozen treasure chest. Probably a key or something useless in it. I don't know. All oh, these pots aren't attacking me. That's nice of them. That's all the pots seem to do in this dungeon is flip and fly at you. I don't know these guys. I guess they drop boulders on you. Oh, you suck. At least they don't get them back, because that would be stupid. There's some more pots. Oh, they can pick up pots, though. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool, I'm not going to lie. Oh, yay, no. It's dark. Oh, and that's a pit. Oh, man, I can't see anything. How am I ever going to figure out how to see things in here? I wonder what kind of item we're going to get. <laughs> I actually can't remember, but I have a good feeling on what it's going to be. So, And I'm guessing I'm going to get it in here. Actually, there's a simple way to kill these guys. Take the boomerang. We'll get the magical boomerang. And you can, st you can stun these guys. Come on. Once they're stunned, you can take them out really easy. There we go. There we go. Hit them from the side, and then just sword them. Magic Boomerang works like it does in Oracle Seasons. You can kind of guide its path. And then it eventually stops after a while. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that little spot there, that's a warp uh, spot. It'll take you back to the beginning. Oh, we can't push this. But the one one of the mechanics in this game is you can split into separate links. 
uh, with the sword. So there we go. Well, that's, I'm guessing half the dungeon done. Yeah, because it's going to melt that. Alright guys, but that's going to be it for me. Uh, thank you for watching today's episode of Odin's Collection, Minish Cap. Check out Jeff Lar's uh, Let's Play of it. And I will see you guys next time for another game. So until then, bye-bye.